Okay, you guys, this is just Shay Davis. Okay, so today we have a fishing trip planned. Uh, of course, you guys know we're trying to do everything we can uh, vacation-wise with Michael, who's leaving for college in less than 30 days. So we're going to go out for a fishing trip. So I'm going to make uh, a dish in the crock pot. So we're going to have the pool chicken tacos, and we're going to do that in the crock pot today. So stay tuned. And again, if you haven't... Um, subscribe go ahead and subscribe we appreciate you I'm gonna do some pulled chicken and this is going to be something easy you can put on Saturday mornings or even Sunday mornings gonna cook in the crock pot um, but this is a crock pot right here a crock pot so it's gonna cook for about five hours okay so I've already cleaned the chicken and if you guys don't know already I cleaned the chicken by using baking soda vinegar and a little water and so the chicken is cleaned then I'm gonna get a can of Rotel tomato. So then I have just the original Rotel and I'm going to add that to the pot. I poured a little bit of juice off of it. And I'm adding that to the pot. I had a leftover package of seasoning from some tacos we had one time. So I'm gonna use this pack of taco seasoning, the entire pack on the chicken. I'm just going to put it all in there. So empty the contents of the package. Once you empty the contents of the package, what you want to do is take a spoon and make sure, you know, you can mix it all around. So make sure it's all over all pieces of chicken. And I'm just going to let you guys know, I made this recipe previously and I did it with chicken breast. And so chicken breast, of course, a little bit of more of a drier meat so this time my kids prefer the juicier part so i'm doing this with thighs this time so that's up to you whether or not if you want to do it with chicken thighs or chicken breasts it's, that's totally up to you guys but this right this recipe right here i'm doing this with chicken um thighs so now i just got the the seasoning wrapped around or covered for most of the chicken i'm going to just put the lid on and we're going to let this cook on high. Let me scoot this back so you guys can see that it's on high. And let it cook on high for five hours. So then it's on high, five hours, and then I'm going to secure the top so that um, if anyone walks by or anything, the top will be on. Hopefully, nobody, everybody here knows not to. <laughs> no, not to do that, but if you have small children, you want to make sure you keep the top on. Even if you don't, it just helps pressurize it and cook it well. So we'll be back in five hours so you guys can see the end result. Okay, so you guys, this has been cooking. It's almost been uh, the amount of five hours. So I'm just going to check on it and see if it looks scrumptious. So now that I have it ready I'm going to take the mixer and we're going to actually go underneath the chicken and we're going to actually um, use the mixer on the chicken and then uh, that's going to be our shredded chicken and we can you can use that however you like in whatever dish you like so let me blend it up really quickly and be super careful because obviously you know, the chicken is still hot so you be super careful with this step to make sure you keep the the blades of the blender under submerged under the liquid okay. so now that the chicken is done the pulled chicken you notice we we just put it on we put the tortilla there we have the cheese my daughter prefers a cheese on the bottom and then you just go ahead and put the pulled chicken on the inside and you can always top this with um avocado cilantro and things that they, they don't like that but you see the, the tomatoes and things in there. It looks great. So now I'm going to have them test taste it and see how she likes it. I'm going to make my daughter's plate first. So. Okay, so from here we're going to get her in to test taste it and we'll be right back.
taste of tacos. Hold your head up so we can see what you got there. Pretty good. They're better than last time because they're not dry. Like, Why did it the with the thighs? The meat that you use, well, this you use every time. I need to use this kind of every time, so I guess it's, that's a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Flavorful. Cheese, make it extra. Like, extra thick, you know? Okay. <laughs> okay, then let's... This is like 9.5 out of 10. 9.5? Oh, wow. That's good for you saying 9.5. You know when you go a 9.5. Oh, come on. He's going to taste them. Go ahead. <laughs> what you laughing at? Put your head up. They can't even see your face. What you laughing at? <laughs> Yeah, they're looking at me. I'm looking at you because I want to know if it's good or not. And people want to know if it's good or not. So they're going to either make mm -hmm. the recipe or not. The meat is better than that, so. Juicy, that's because I use thighs instead of bread. Y'all, they don't like the dry meat, you guys, as I told y'all earlier in the video. They like the, the dark meat. It's good. It's good? Okay, so thumbs up. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so I guess we're going to make it again. You eating it like you real serious. <laughs> okay, so your order's on the refrigerator and come on, uh so is you and my brothers. Okay, now let's let's taste this uh pulled chicken sandwich or sit pulled chicken taco. Can we? Yes, go ahead. I don't know, can you? She got to do so, be so exaggerated. Michaela, mm -hmm. what does it taste like? Juicy as much, huh? It's juicy? Okay. Last and time you said it. It's good, though. It's good? Mm-hmm. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs around the town. Good. Up. Thumbs up? Okay. Eight. Are you? Uh, 8.9. I need a napkin. Okay, I can see you need a napkin. <laughs> you trying to hide behind and need a napkin? No, I don't want to drip on my shirt. Oh, okay. I might have put. I might and it's making my other tortilla soggy. I probably squeeze the juice out of it. Okay, so. But really good. But what? Really good. Okay, look good. I'm glad you like it. So I guess that's we we can do this one again, huh? You should make it at a restaurant. I should make it at a restaurant. Look at this good and gave me a whole place of employment. And that is a change of career right there. Mm. Okay, so it looks like it's a winner and we can continue. Our, next time, you guys, when you're plating your meat up, if you don't want it to be as soggy, you just have to let your meat drain a little bit. I just grab a chunk, as y'all can see, and just put it on there. So. Make me another one. I, I wish I would. I wish I would. I wish I would. I said please. <laughs> don't give you this say please you... <sighs> all right you guys thank you guys for watching make sure you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell and we will be back i guess with another recipe peace i'm good for real for real another one